Our core word last week was jump, and the gesture is this, I mean sign is this, um, and jumping was a lot of fun. Some of the kids can't really physically jump, so we just held hands, and I would go down, 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 down with them, and then all the way down, like, to the ground, like, squatting. And then I would jump up really high um, and trying to get them to do that or to copy it. Um, so some kids aren't there yet, and that's okay. And I would just pick them up, and we would jump. But I, I tried to get them all to try and copy jumping by lifting their feet up. Um, we didn't have a slot, Google slide that went along with this core word, but we did use a core book. And so um, the characters... It's either he, she, and then it was a dog. It was jumping over things. And we read the page, and then we got a ball, and we jumped over the ball. We read a page, we got the box, and we jumped over the box. You get the idea. So this is something fun that you can do at home. Just take your child and jump over different things. Um, so that was a fun activity. I also had a bunch of different toys that do jumping. Um, pop-up toys. So like this, you squeeze it together. I let it go. It jumps. <laughs> so if you have like little suction cup pop-up toys like that, that was kind of fun. Some kids visually couldn't follow that or notice that and that's okay. So you just try a different toy. Um, but obviously jumping on a trampoline, jumping on the bed, um, things like that, jumping off of things is fun. Like you can catch your child and they can jump. One, two, three, jump. Um, so jumping is a lot of fun. You could put cushions or pillows on the floor and you can jump onto the cushions and pillows. Um, jump rope, maybe jumping over the rope is something fun that your kids like to do. Um, the videos or songs for five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Um, I had a lot of success with this, um, with a particular student who, hold on, I'm getting it, sorry, who actually has never played with toys. I haven't gotten that student to play with toys yet. Um, she likes letters, numbers, and videos. But I finally found a toy that she liked. So she likes the Five Little Monkey song. So I have a little bed and I have a little monkey and then jumping, and they fell off, and we did all of the gestures. The doctor said, no, no, no. So this is really fun. Kids, some kids are not tuning into language, but they're tuning into music. So if you sing to them, all of a sudden they listen. All of a sudden they are looking at you. Um, so try singing songs to your kids. Five Little Monkeys is one of the songs that worked for this particular student, and it was a lot of fun actually put students pictures on the cups and we had them jumping on the bed as well so that was something different and fun for them I think um, so that really sums up what you could possibly do for the word jump it's a really fun um, fun activity for the kids um, you can find maybe some trampoline parks if you want to go to that. That's fun, but you can also do simple things at home that are lots of fun. Um, and one thing about the five little monkeys, when we watched the video, I would pause the video. I would help count with them how many monkeys were on the bed, and then we would act it out with the toy or ourselves. So that's something that I would suggest you do as well. Don't just sit and watch videos with your kids. Stop the videos, ask them some questions, count, the, and then act it out. And then let's do more. So a lot of the kids had to request more before I would press play on the video. They had to take a turn at the game, then we would say more, and then we would watch the video again. So stopping and starting videos again is a great way also to get motivation. So try these things with your kids. Send me some emails and let me know what worked or what didn't work. Um, I'd love to know what games you're playing with your kids because I can do them here as well. So it's great if we work together. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye.